Hello. Hello, everyone. I hope that this catches you at a time that, um, you know, is prayerful, uh, that your day has been mindful of uh, the blessings that God gives us. I had a meeting this morning and we said, can we say a prayer? And one person started with, Lord, I want to thank you for this day and this moment. And I'd realized how often I neglected in my life to actually appreciate the moments that go by day by day, moment by moment, uh, sometimes, you know, second by second. Uh, and so I thank you, God, for this day. I thank you for this parish. I thank you for our community of faith. And I thank you for how much they care for one another. Today is January 27th. Hard to believe that Christmas is only just a little bit more than a month past. Um, today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And I wanted to share that with us. I put it in our pastor's desk this week. Now, this is from Dr. Yohan Saka, the Interim General Secretary of the World Council of Churches. And he says this, he says, today we pause to remember the six million Jewish victims of the Holocaust and the millions of other victims of Nazism during the Second World War, as well as being an annual commemoration of all the precious lives lost during that appalling manifestation of evil. International Holocaust Remembrance Day is also a solitary recurrent reminder of the path that leads from fear and hatred of the other through the denial of the human dignity and the rights of all people equally to genocide. Far from being an episode receding in increasingly distant history, Professor Saka goes on to say, the Holocaust remains an ever-present threat. He says for Jewish people, Armenians, Rwandans, and others who have experienced genocide, it is a permanent and indelible reality. In recent years, he goes on, he says, we have observed increasing license being given to hate speech and demonization of others in political and public discourse. We have seen resurgent expressions of anti-Semitism and other group hatreds. And we have witnessed the impacts of these phenomena on our societies and our relationships. On this International Holocaust Remembrance Day, all people of faith and goodwill must recommit to the continuing challenge of resisting and challenging anti-Semitism and all such hatreds that deny the image of God and other human beings. And that is a challenge I know as a parish we, we want to be part of, to challenge and resist the hatreds that deny the image of God and other human beings. Much is made about immigration and having to have borders and uh, I remember, though, my mother's father was, after the Second World War, people, one of the people that were called DPs, displaced persons. He probably is no great, and it, if it hadn't been for his brothers coming over one by one and then being able to bring other members of their family over, uh, my mom would not be here, I would not be here. The, the, the parts that join us as humans is a part of individual history and personal history as well. We can't say today that if International Holocaust Remembrance Day doesn't affect us, it's a part of who we are as human beings on this world that God made and how we have to resist evil. Well, I wish a prayer that God would help us all open our eyes to see the goodness of God. And I hope God blesses you with a reason to be thankful today.